Good morning. Um, I slept really well last night. I didn't have to use my sleeping bag liner or put socks on, a beanie, gloves, jacket, all of the above, which was really nice. It's about 61 degrees outside. We're doing about 14 miles, small climb in the beginning, and then downhill for a while, and then a big climb at the end. I learned my lesson yesterday. I will be pushing myself, but not that hard. Always push yourself to do better, but also take your time. Woohoo! I almost dropped my trekking poles. Um, but we are going to Boots Off Hostel today, and I'm excited. I did a lot of hiking with the group yesterday. Today, I think I'm gonna go solo. There's a storm coming in, so you can't see the view, but you can still kind of see it. Pretty. Okay, serious question, what is that? Right next to this beautiful campsite. I wish I would have camped there, but this walk is just beautiful. <sighs> <Bleh>. <laughs> Is life right now i this is insanely beautiful it's been flat pretty much the whole way there they, we've got rocks on the left side the right side down there is the river and it's just it's just insane i am having a great time right now and it's just so beautiful i would love to live near this and walk to this waterfall frequently even though i haven't seen the waterfall yet <laughs> I just, I know I'm gonna love it. I'm a sucker for waterfalls. I think I might cry. I'm only halfway down and it's freaking beautiful. Just finished lunch and soaking our feet and now we are climbing back up. I think we're about seven more miles. Oh, that felt amazing. My ankles and feet are thanking me. Such a beautiful sight to see. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, to be honest. Just wow. And the fact that we had it all to ourselves is amazing. insane 
I will definitely be coming back here for like a weekend or a week long trip and camp here. It is beautiful. It's, uh, I can't even explain it. Rare rats layer ahead, campsites available, welcome. The pet rats love visitors. Northbound at left upstairs. That's slightly terrifying. I think I'm gonna keep going up. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm drenched. I'm drenched in sweat. And I've only done a mile of this 1500. And I have two more. It's rough. I think I've decided I'd rather it be more miles than climbing straight up the mountain. Whew. It's supposed to be easy-ish because like we have our hiking legs, but uh, it has not been this hot and humid yet. And so I'm missing my, missing my dry heat from California. And my glasses keep sliding down my face. It doesn't look like it's going up, but trust me, it is. So it's 79 degrees outside, the hottest it's been. I got this. And the humidity is 52%. The rest of the time, I was just encouraging myself to get to this water source because I ran out of water and I needed something cold. This is the little stream. Luckily there was water and I am filled up for three more miles. And it was cold water. It just really hit the spot. Saw Sass here. She felt the same way. We were both counting down point ones to the stream separately. Um, we both drank all of our water that we got from the waterfall. Now we're going down the mountain. We just came up for three miles, so three miles up, three miles back down. I don't understand it either, but that's okay. You know, for the next two days to get to a little town called Kennett Square, for about 15 years. Tell your feet you're almost there. Ooh. 450 feet. Don't worry, just a little farther. Rest stop. They should have a shuttle. 250 feet. You made it. Yes, we did. All of our friends. Sponsored by 